It's a very rainy, dark Friday afternoon in Manchester. I am looking forward to just the loveliest weekend. So Ella, my best friend, I don't know if I need to still say my best friend because you guys have met Ella so many times, but Ella is coming to spend the weekend up in Manchester. Penny's got an away game, so he's away all weekend. So me, Ella, Rue, we're having a girls weekend. We've decided that we're not gonna go out for dinner and drinks. We're just gonna spend the whole weekend doing like really lovely autumnal, things so going pumpkin picking we're going to do loads of home cooking might bake some cookies might go to the cinema you get the idea just a really lovely wholesome girls weekend so i cannot wait but in the meantime i just need to sort the house out make her bed and do all those homey bits and i've just had the biggest delivery all around me from cherries who were very kindly sponsored this part of the video so i did not know about cherries until a couple of months ago and the best way i can describe it to you it's a bit like all of our favorite shops an online version they pretty much got every household essential you could think of everything from like cleaning products to like bath and body stuff like body moisturizers and shower gels and stuff like that and what i'm really excited to show you is they also have a range of like really lovely homeware bits and it is so so affordable like when i was placing my order the other day i could not get over how affordable it is there are also so many big brands on there like dove there's pretty much every cleaning brand you could think of i've got some scrub daddies in here so let me open this order because since this arrived this morning i have been dying to open it this is the smallest box. I've got three boxes to get open. Let me open it all up and then I'll show you the bits I got. Okay, everything is unboxed and it's all done here. I will show you everything in a second, but I just wanted to show you a few of the home bits I got because I know that you will just love them just as much as I do. So firstly and honestly, most importantly, I got two of these faux fur throws. They are the softest thing I have ever felt. I could not be happier with what the colours look like in real life. They look exactly as they looked online. I got this one, which is in like a camel colour, and this one, which is a bit more like a tan. And if these are not an autumn, winter, cosy essential, I honestly do not know what it is. I can't wait to cosy up underneath these on the sofa with Ella this weekend. Then, along the same lines of an autumn, winter essential, I picked myself up some hot water bottles. I obviously got like a regular water bottle, and then I got one of these really long water bottles that I keep seeing everywhere and again they're super super soft and I really love the color they're both in like this really neutrally gray kind of color um so I love them and then the other thing I wanted to show you just before I show you everything um is these little storage containers they are glass and then they've got these little wooden lids I quite like the detailing actually on the lid there too and what i really liked about them is they're properly sealed so they will actually keep things fresh so i got three each of these i got three of the smaller size and then three of the slightly bigger size and i just love them so let me show you everything so really random but we don't own a rolling pin so i thought if we're going to do baking this weekend that would be really useful and then i got a few bathroom bits so i always use these dar body washers i just love them so i got this little gift set that comes with a little scrub too um i got some new New face towels just because some of mine are worn out now and then some blonde hair ties cannot go wrong um, and then I got a whole bunch of cleaning stuff the range of cleaning stuff on cherries is amazing they've got all of our favorites minkies etc um, so I got some scrub mummies it's going to call them daddies but scrub mummies um, some minkies some different cloths this is a bottle cleaner which I just thought could be really useful and then some trusty marigolds um, and then for this weekend, I picked up some treats, mostly for Ella. And then a little bit boring, but also very necessary. I got Rue a top up of this food. She seems to really like this one and she's the fussiest dog. So we've gone with her. And then again, a bit boring, but very practical. I just got a load of batteries, which by the way, is so reasonably priced on cherries because batteries are one of those things that always catch me out with the fact that they're actually quite pricey. And then my blankets are down here waiting for their home. And that is everything I got in this order. I thought you guys would just enjoy seeing that 
little haul of everything that I got. What's amazing as well is how fast the delivery is. I ordered all of this and it was on my doorstep the following day. There's also always new stuff being added. I did have a little look at the new inn and there was a lot of Christmas stuff on there, which was very exciting to me. Um, but yeah, they've always got new stuff. They've always got new offers. I've actually got two different codes for you guys. So one for new customers and one for those of you that are existing customers. So I will pop them both on screen here and also all the details will be in the description box as always. So I am gonna take Rue out now and then I'm gonna have hours of fun organizing all my new bits. Hey guys, I cannot cope. This is what Rue looks like when she has a bath. Rui, oh, you hate it. I'm gonna take her out now. <laughs> Such a rat. <laughs> Look at her, you don't need to shake now, you're out. Oh my God, I cannot, I cannot cope. Little burrito. <laughs> Oh, let's get you dry. Oh, do you know what? I got back from the dog walk, gave Rue a bath. First of all, it took forever to get back from the dog walk because the traffic in Manchester on a Friday afternoon is no joke. And then I got home and suddenly realized I actually had so much work to do before the weekend. So the time is... Seven o'clock, I don't know why I even look on that, the time on that is always wrong. But I think it's like seven o'clock, quarter past seven or something. Um, and I've literally just been working ever since. But perfect timing because I've literally just finished working and Ella is currently in an Uber and on her way to mine. So I think we're gonna have some snacks, have some wine, and then I'm gonna cook us some dinner. I don't know how much I'll film tonight because we've just got so much catching up to do, but I'll definitely film us making dinner and just like as much as we can. But yeah, that has been my Friday so far. Tomorrow is gonna be a lot more exciting. Tomorrow is pumpkin picking, cozy walks, s'mores or whatever they're called and i'm excited so i'm gonna go wait for ella she should ring my intercom any second now is your auntie ella coming Are you okay my baby it's quite cold you know what i just put the heating on as well for the first time this year it is freezing like i was thinking why am i so cold i thought i was getting ill then i realized it is mid-october it probably is just freezing cold <laughs> this morning and we're off on a day out we're currently on the way to take Rue for a nice long walk and we're gonna go get some brunch at one of my favorite spots around here and then we're gonna go pumpkin picking and we're gonna attempt later to carve the pumpkins and make pumpkin soup do you have a pumpkin carving kit no we need to purchase one of them what does that i thought you just did it with a knife to be honest oh, I don't think. <laughs> You can't do it with a knife. You need an actual kit, do you? I feel like you... I don't know, is that just like a gimmick to buy a kit? Have you ever carved a pumpkin? Yeah. See, I've only ever carved a pumpkin with a knife, I think. But maybe I'm the loser. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> besides, <laughs> besides the point. That's basically our plan for today. We're having a really chilled girls' day. Doing lots of like autumnal nice things. Oh, hello gorgeous girl. We're nearly there. I think we're going to cook something nice for dinner tonight rather than getting a takeaway what shall we have for dinner that is a good question we've not discussed now you're gonna say something i you know i know you so well just from the look on your face i know you're thinking what's the most ridiculous thing i could say honestly the amount of pumpkins that must get wasted at halloween we are not being one of those people this year do you know what i love that Yeah, 
liking this, right? So then again, why would he not want to go? Like, it sounds like a great plan. just had lunch we both had a sweet jacket potato with chickpea scramble which was actually yummy Isn't so good so so good and now we're about to go to this pumpkin patch which is not too far away and then we're gonna do a big food shop and we've decided to make this like delicious thing it's like a Ella special I don't even know what you would <laughs> call it it's like a veggie lasagna kind of thing but it's in layers we'll show you later and that's it really <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing gorgeous gorgeous girls Try and chase after. Oh. What's she trying to chase? I don't know. We had a chalky smoothie as well. We didn't look at the cakes, so that's because we've got enough stuff at home. What's oh, that? Oh, here. Oh. See you at the pumpkin patch. Are we ready for pumpkin picking? Yeah. <laughs> find each other in a pumpkin. Okay. Right. This is Anna. <laughs> if she was a pumpkin. <laughs> the biggest pumpkin here apparently, that's me. from doing a food shop and I thought I'll show you super quickly what we picked up. So first and definitely most importantly, our prized possession, this pumpkin. Unfortunately, we did have to get one that was all knobbly because there wasn't really that much choice, but this is what we're gonna attempt to make pumpkin soup with in a little bit. And then for dinner tonight, Ella's gonna make this layered veggie thing. We'll show you how we do it later. It will make more sense then. But for that, we've got some aubergine and some courgette. And then also for dinner, we picked up some of these whole wheat lasagna sheets, some chopped tomatoes. And then this is possibly the most exciting thing. They had these cheese taster things. So we tried all of these different cheeses, best vegan cheese I've ever tasted. Um, so it's called Green V, I believe that is the brand, but we got a Greek style one, a smoked one, and then we also got a vintage, which is like a mature cheddar. Cannot explain to you how good these are. Weren't they so good, Elle? Incredible. So yummy. We ate like half the testers because we couldn't stop eating them. And then for some nibbles now, we got some of my absolute favorite hummus. I always get this one. Um, and then some of these rosemary chip things, which I had with my sister recently. Then we got some banana walnut cake for later. And finally, we got some of this 100% sprouted spelt bread because I thought this would go quite nicely with our pumpkin soup. That is everything we picked up from the shop. So we're just gonna have some snacks now and have a bit of a chill because we've been out all afternoon. <laughs> There is no official term for this, so we will just show you how Ella does it. Ella bought this wine from downstairs and apparently it's a vegan, vegan organic sulfate free, just for the weekend. I was just thinking, would either of these, I reckon we chop up all that veg and then 
we see what it fits because that's quite a good one you know but look at this look who it is <laughs> oh. how easy i thought i just had a genius plan of doing it in this but then we realized lasagna sheets are not circular right we're gonna get chopping so i'll show you how we do it just to show you a few of the things we're going to be using we've got the chopped tomatoes and the lasagna sheets i showed you earlier ella's got some onion and garlic chopped up then um the aubergine and the courgettes and then we're also going to just make some little fried potatoes to go on the side which is what that's for lasagna ratatouille thing to be done these are our fried potatoes we made we're so proud of them rosemary they potatoes delicious they're so good jenny's home now apparently i already had ten <laughs> yeah i know pretending that we haven't had a thousand already good aren't they so good the dream we've just taken it out of the oven and this is what it's looking like have watched we started watching the watcher on netflix last night and we're now on the final episode which <laughs> we're gonna watch but we've spent the entire evening in our cozy blankets these are the softest thing in the entire world we've got a little matching blankets and just watching back to back of the watcher it's a bit scary but if you haven't seen it you have to watch it good morning everyone we are up this morning and we're about to head straight up to get some brunch kenny and rue are coming with us today so we'll see you when we get there having breakfast and it is finally pumpkin soup making time so ella's just getting changed and then we're gonna get into it the recipe looks really simple actually i will try my hardest i'm so bad at linking but i will try my hardest to link the recipe down below i'm excited about it i cannot remember the last time i had pumpkin soup or if i've ever had pumpkin soup could be a fast so let's make it so this is everything i think we're going to need coconut milk vegetable stock some thyme garlic ginger um onion and then this big pumpkin actually now 
the next day, it's Monday afternoon, and I realized yesterday I hadn't even shown you the finished product of the pumpkin soup because as soon as we had made the soup, Ella realized she literally had to leave like immediately for her train. So then we were getting her ready for that, getting her out the door and one thing led to another. And then it was all just a bit go, go, go for the rest of the day. So I am back this afternoon to show you my pumpkin soup for a start because it was really yummy. And while I'm here, I also wanted to show you. I started filling up all the glass jars I showed you from cherries at the beginning of the video. They look so good. I'll take you off in a minute and show you properly. But I'm so pleased with them. They look exactly like, you know, on Pinterest when people have like just the most organized pantries in the world and they're all full of these jars. They look exactly like the little Pinterest jars. I'm so happy with them. So now I feel like I'm on a roll with this. I'm definitely gonna be ordering more of these. I love them. Remember as well, if you want to get some that I've got a code in the description box. So I'm gonna make my lunch. This is what lunch looks like now that it's all done. My pumpkin soup and then I just sprinkled some black pepper, some garlic flakes and popped some pumpkin seeds on top and then just got a couple of slices of toast and butter. A very autumnal lunch. This is what the jars look like now I filled them. I think they look really good. I really wanna get about a hundred others and just put everything we own into jars. I really like the little lids. I just think they look really nice. Look how sweet this candle is that Ella bought for me. She said she got it from Home Sense. It's a cute little pumpkin. And then you take the lid off. It smells like, it must tell me what the exact scent is. Oh, it's orange and clove. Ella and I were saying all weekend it smelled like pumpkin, but that must be the placebo of it being a pumpkin. But either way, it smells very festive. Anyway, I am going to leave today's video here. I was thinking earlier, this has pretty much turned into a what I eat in a weekend or what we ate this weekend. We just had the most relaxing weekend full of so much good food. So I actually just need to head off and give the house a clean because we've got Kenny's parents coming to stay for a few days, which will be really nice. So thank you so, so much for watching as always. And I will catch up with you next Sunday. Bye guys.